Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. Today we're doing a walk around on a 1976 Lincoln Mark IV with 29,000 original miles. Now I'm gonna go around the car and talk about the paint, the condition, and what we've done to this car. Um, it's a pretty nice original car, not been modified or tampered with. It's had some service work done, plugs, wires, full tune up, uh, exhaust, pipe, and muffler, new tires. So it's road ready and we had it checked. Air's nice and cold. Everything in the car works except the clock and the antenna. Now, since we're getting ready to go right by the antenna, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. The motor works. The mast is broken, okay? If you go to put it up, it flops out, and you got a spot here on this paint that has been touched up with a little bit of cracking around the edge here. If you want to make this, this right, you could isolate the paint to, from the top of this lip, this inside edge, and just blend this. Our guys are backed up. We try to make the cars as perfect as we can, but sometimes things are either out of our control or I just don't have time to get it done and it's not major enough to go ahead and you know worry about it. Um, we do a multi-stage paint correction and we touch up any spots that need to be touched up that won't buff out. Um, the car has all original paint on the hood. This whole side of the car has the original painted on pinstripe. Moving around to the back of the car, the rear deck lid is all original. The paintwork that I discovered on the car, and when we do these paint corrections, that's when I can start telling what's been painted and what hasn't. The reason um, that you can tell th this quarter and that door been blended is that this is a taped on pinstripe where the rest of the car is painted on. And this molding was popped off, the clips were broken on, on from here over. And there's a little bit of, looks like what would have been a little bit of body work maybe right here. Um, just from, I have to assume that they maybe hit something not too hard because there's no actual damage on the actual molding it's just it was just popped off and the clips are broke so there's a little bit of work here has been done and this has been painted and on into this door okay well another thing that these cars are common for is getting rock chips up in these fender wells so typically i'll touch them up with a brush if there's too many i'll just tape and then spray the insides of the fender well so those have been done on both sides they look pretty decent very respectable for the for the type of car that it is full vinyl top new tires you know we clean and polish the wheels the best we can sometimes they come out like mirrors and sometimes they come out just you know decent these came out decent um all the bright work on the car looks pretty good you can see there's no major pitting or anything like that tiny little bit showing up on this uh grill but standing back a couple of feet it looks really great headlights work they go up and down and then also i talk about doing the paint correction we touch up any spots that um there was any you know flaws or nicks or chips that didn't buff out one being the antenna area there might be a spot or two that we gently touched up here that you can barely tell. Bright work on the back looks good. A little bit of pinning on this trim here. Very minimal, not something you'd even consider replacing. And then if you come around to this side, um, on the top of this fender, probably from working on the car, a belt buckle or whatever, it, it, the paint was a little thin and some scratches here that, that were through the paint. So you got that, it's kind of yucky looking, but if you stand back a couple feet, it's not bad. Tops of the mirrors, tiny little bit of pitting. Very, very, very minimal, but very acceptable. So walk around the outside of the car, Chris, let him get another good view. Just a really nice, straight, original car with 29,000 miles, 460, four barrel V8. Oh, it's got the original, and I believe this to be the second owner that I bought from the second owner. It's got the original plate from 1976 where it was sold new in West Virginia. Just a beautiful car. You saw the driving video, it runs good, drives good, it's got plenty of power. So good luck bidding. Any questions, put them in the comment section and I will um, uh, answer them as quickly as possible. And look out for the interior and engine bay video as well. Thanks guys.